Hey, good morning, Orlando. How y'all doing? This is Jimmy Williams, and I'm out here still doing, uh, trying to just find out what the people think about the Black Lives Matter mural this downtown on Roslyn Avenue. We have been uh, told and seen on the news uh, and that, that they are going to do some infrastructure work to the Roslyn Avenue project down, on, right down there, and they're going to... Uh, you know, install some safety measures, uh, re redo some work to the highway that need to be done uh, for its safety. But at the same time, once they finish, they're going to have to repave the highway. And that means that they're going to have to cover up the Black Lives Matter mirror. So the question is, uh, do we guys, as as a citizens, myself, I want to put back. I, I don't want to change the words. I want it to go back just like it was Black Lives Matter. Uh, because it for, for, for one thing is that the Black Lives Matter movement started also from the beginning with a black man being, uh, his life being taken, and then the movement kicked in. But the movement kicked in, in my opinion, is because of the police brutality that were taking place against colored people, colored peoples all over the world. And also uh, police departments and officers were taking advantage of their positions uh, and their power over the peoples and the citizens that they uh, controlled, that not controlled, but they patrolled. Uh, so therefore, this Black Lives Matter movement spread it all over the world. Uh, all major cities right now still have Black Lives Matter murals painted on the streets, on buildings, uh, in their cities, and they're being supported by the citizens of that city. So the citizens of this city, Orlando, Florida, uh, we got together, we went downtown, we painted the Black Lives Matter mirror. Uh, the people put it there. I think the people should be the one that say what goes back. I, Jimmy Williams, a resident of Central Florida since 1969, is standing in solidarity with everyone to put it back. Here with me this morning is Pastor uh, Willie Burns, yeah. Bishop. Bishop Willie Burns. Right here on Proud Moor. Uh, and we're gonna, I'm going to let him tell you guys his opinion and what he think about the whole Black Lives Matter movement because when we started this, me, him, Mr. Jack Williams, God bless the dead, Dr. Shante stood in these same very spots that, and we uh, took pictures and asked to have the Black Lives Matter mural done. Uh, and we got contacted by the city and we moved forward with them to put it on a bigger stage. Good morning, uh, Bishop. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great, and I'm just so uh, glad to be a part of this movement. And I think it's something that we have to make sure that they don't destroy because it's something great. It's something uh, I would say that we need for our future, for our children. Let them realize that we are people that matter. We do matter, amen, and that we still are people, no matter what color, race you are, we matter as people. And I think the Black Lives Matter sign really made a big difference. And I don't think other people from other areas or other countries or whatever come to, should come down and force us to take it down and not realize this is our town. We live here. We was born and raised here. And this is what we uh, would want it to be. Let that sign stay down there. Don't move it. That's our moment for the Black Lives Do Matter. Thank you so much. Have a happy new year. Hey, y'all heard it straight from the mouth. This is, uh, we down here, um, standing inside there. And uh, when we make this post, feel free to comment. Uh, feel free to join in with us and let the leaders of this city know that we do want the Black Lives Matter replaced. No worries change. It's a part of our legacy. It's a part of our history. We got kids in this community and their families came out and personally painted it uh, the Black Lives Matter. That means in the history books that each one of these kids will be mentioned as a part of that mirror being done. 500 years from now, when they teach it in the school, when they're talking about it in the community, they're in the barbershop talking about it, they're going to be know, want to know who did it, how it got done. And this is what we're trying to save, that the history of our city and the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm Jimmy Williams, and I want to thank you all for listening. Thank you.